bragging. Trump's attorney just served the Clintons, he's taking it from them. The Clinton family has evaded prosecution for years, but that may change after what has been discovered over the last several weeks. There are so many people begging for them to be prosecuted, but they've kept on waiting for so long. Over the years, the Clintons have been involved in numerous scandals that would land anyone else behind bars for an extremely long sentence. However, since the Clintons are the top leading Democrat politicians, they have been able to fly under the radar despite the public outcry for their arrest and prosecution. This time it may be different. To prove how privileged they are, you don't have to look much further than last year when Hillary Clinton was cleared of any wrongdoing for deleting highly classified emails from her private server. Instead of Hillary being indicted, she was cleared of all charges, which seemed only to encourage her as she began to accuse President Trump of Russian collusion and a myriad of other crimes worthy of his impeachment. Nothing of which came to be anything meaningful or worthy of impeachment, but it may have been a distraction tactic used to get people off her back for a few moments. Now the tables have turned as new evidence of Hillary Clinton's involvement in the Uranium One scandal have been revealed this could be what provides the prosecution with enough evidence to find her behind bars sooner than later. The first indictments have been handed out over this weekend, but that is just the beginning of a very long grueling legal battle that will likely ensue. Over the weekend, it was discovered that a grand jury in Arkansas had been convened to look into the Clinton Foundation's deeds over the last several years. According to recent reports, Hillen has reopened the Clinton Foundation investigation that was shut down by Loretta Lynch and former FBI Director James Comey. Of course, the left is doing their best to protect the Clinton family, and there could be a significant distraction or delay coming from them. The mainstream media may desire to shield the criminal Clintons and has done their best to push this significant news story under the rug. That won't stop independent and right-wing aligned news sources from reporting on the truth and recent indictments handed down. Breitbart reports. An 11-count indictment has been handed down from a grand jury investigating possible Russian bribery involving former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's uranium one deal negotiated when she was part of the Obama administration, a report says. The indictment was levied against Maryland resident Mark Lambert, a former co-president of a nuclear transportation company involved in Hillary Clinton's deal to sell U.S. uranium interests to a Russian company. A Department of Justice statement says that the 54-year-old Lambert was charged with one count of conspiracy to violate the Foreign Corrupt Practices Act FCPA, and to commit wire fraud, seven counts of violating the FCPA, two counts of wire fraud and one count of international promotion money laundering. The Clintons and their powerful allies in the media and government may think they have nothing to worry about. But that is not the case after what Attorney General Jeff Sessions just said. Sessions made it clear that the era of free passes is over and has briefed the Department of Justice and the FBI that justice must be served this time around. Here is more from LifeZet who chronicles the many investigations into the Clintons and their bogus foundation and how many times they were given a free pass. Until recently, the Clinton Foundation has been monitored by the IRS, the Department of Justice, and the FBI, and multiple state government authorities that are seated with persons loyal to either the Clintons or the Obamas. Every time, the Clinton Foundation got a free pass. But now it appears key authorities may finally be turning strict attention toward answering tough questions about public filings of Clinton charities inside and outside the United States. When these powerful organizations engage motivated minds, they will wish to concentrate on a few areas that have long gone begging for attention. The first time the Clinton Foundation was investigated, between 2001 and 2005, then FBI Director Robert Mueller, then Deputy Attorney General James Comey, and others could not seem to find obvious and escalating frauds as a supposed presidential library complex in Little Rock, Arkansas also fought HIV-slash-AIDS internationally from unregistered offices in New York and Massachusetts without ever obtaining required audits of worldwide activities. Strangely, as the first investigation wound down, evidence in the public domain suggests that the Clinton Foundation also defrauded the National Archivist by making demonstrably false representations in a binding legal agreement. For example, 
there is no evidence the IRS provided final approval to the Clinton Foundation to fight HIV-AIDS internationally as a tax-exempt purpose by November 18, 2004, the date the Presidential Archive was officially donated. That November 18, 2004, agreement is nowhere to be found today on the Clinton Foundation website and in public filings despite the charity's more than 13 years of widespread solicitation across state and national boundaries using telephones mail, and the Internet. The next major investigation started in December 2009 when the French government launched a detailed look into UNITAID, a multilateral international organization, primarily funded by France, that has sent more than $650 million to arms of the Clinton Foundation engaged, at least in theory, in fighting HIV and AIDS. Reports concerning this investigation written in French and published in 2010 and 2011, show that French government authorities, like their U.S. counterparts, missed the heart of the problem posed by the Clinton Foundation. Bill and Hillary Clinton are not above the law even though they tend to act like that. For too long we have seen Hillary Clinton and her husband Bill traipsing around the country spewing their lies and getting away with various crimes. The liberal elitists have been able to get away with their crimes for too long, but it appears as though the Trump administration will finally put an end to the long line of broken laws. It's about time. About time.